What's up? This is Nanya from Tecbatic Solutions and today I have got the Huawei Ascend P6 and that's the phone that you can see on the screen and this device is unique in terms of inheritance. It inherits the design from the iPhone and its software is very much similar to the MIUI ROM. So let's begin the review of this device. Huawei Ascend P6 has a 5 megapixel front camera along with an LED notification indicator and a mic. On the right hand side, it has a micro SIM card slot, micro SD card slot, volume rockers and the power button. On the left hand side, we have the GSM bands and a weird looking 3.5mm headphone jack. At the top, we have the micro USB charging slot. At the back, we have a 8 megapixel camera sensor along with a LED flash. At the bottom of the panel, we have a small speaker. The device has a IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with a screen resolution of 1280 by 720 which accounts to 312 pixels per inch. The device uses Corning Gorilla Glass and the display is definitely way better than most smartphones I have used. The viewing angles on the display is amazing. The device is powered with a quad core 1.5 GHz processor and has 2 GB of RAM with 8GB of internal storage. The Ascent P6 uses the Emotion UI which looks very similar to the MIUI ROM. Totally 9 home screens can be added. A number of tweaks are provided in the notification bar. One of the best tweaks is the screenshot. The device runs Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It also inherits motion control features from the Galaxy smartphones. This includes features like flip, pick up and race. A number of Google applications come pre-installed. This includes YouTube, Google+, Google Play Store, etc. Just like Xiaomi, Huawei also provides its own applications like System Update, Power Manager, Backup, etc. It also has Permission Manager, which is the same as the privacy management in the iPhone. The device also supports DLNA. This means you can stream media to your television or DLNA compatible device. Once DLNA is enabled, just go to any system application which contains media and in the app select a multi-screen. Choose your television, boom, you have the media streaming on your television. A number of unnecessary animations make the device quite slow at times. The device scored 14918 in Antutu benchmark. It is a decent score and very close to the Nexus 4. But on comparing it with the Xiaomi Mi2s, it was way behind. Nexus 4 has a slightly better GPU and that is clearly shown in the results. Quadrant Standard gave a score of 3518 and OpenGL ES 2.0 test gave a score of 2976. Applications open pretty fast and this is pretty much because of the quad core CPU as well as the 2 gigabytes of RAM that is embedded inside the device. Browser performs well too. Pages load up quickly and there are no white checkerboards observed. The scrolling of the page is quite smooth. Less graphic intensive games work well. However, not all high graphic intensive games work properly. Some lag a lot. Fortunately, Real Racing 3 worked very well. Certain games like Temple Run 2 experienced high frame drops providing a poor gaming experience. This at times can be very annoying and may prevent you from making high score. The gaming performance is quite understandable considering the CPU has poor GPU. The phone has a massive 2000mAh battery but the performance is average. I could hardly get it to last the whole day. I had to charge the device at least once in the day to get it to last the whole day. This performance test included high usage of internet, watching offline videos, playing games and listening to music. Huawei has done a very good job in the sound department. The output of the speaker is loud and clear. Even the headphones gave a good clear output, but they are not comfortable. And even at medium volume, people around you can hear what you are listening to. 
The device comes with a 8 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front camera. The rear camera can shoot videos in 1080p whereas the front camera can shoot videos at 720p. The sharpness in the photos is lacking but the autofocus works great. It supports image and video stabilization and object tracking but both the features make the video lag. It is a sunny day and this is a test video from the rear camera of the phone. On enabling stabilization, the video becomes too laggy and does not retain its original quality. The front camera shoots great videos and captures some amazing photographs. I will give this device a 6.5 on 10. This device is highly overpriced. And it comes with some bunch of cool features like DLNA. It's got an awesome design which is very much similar to the iPhone. It's got very good audio quality. However, at 25,000 rupees, you're getting a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. Now, there has been a myth among people where people think that the number of cores define the performance, but that's not true. The CPU architecture plays a much more important role in defining the performance of the device. And this device is definitely low on GPU, therefore the gaming performance is also not that great. So definitely spending 25,000 rupees on this phone is not worth. But if this phone was priced at around like 16,000, I would have definitely suggested. So that's it with this review guys. Let me know how you like it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.